Hello everyone. Welcome to the Knowledge Base. Today we will cover the concepts and practical examples of using the final keyword in Java. My name is Archana and I'll be guiding you through this topic. Let's begin by understanding what the final keyword is in Java. The final keyword is used to restrict the user in various ways. It can be applied to variables, methods, and classes. When used with variables, it means that once a value is assigned, it cannot be changed. For methods, it ensures that the method cannot be overridden by subclasses. And for classes, it means the class cannot be subclassed or extended. Now let's dive into final variables. Final variables are essentially constants. They must be initialized when declared or within the constructor. Once a final variable is assigned a value, it cannot be reassigned. Here's an example to illustrate this. In this example, max underscore value is declared as a final variable and assigned a value of 100. Any attempt to change this value will result in a compilation error. Next, we have final methods. A final method cannot be overridden by subclasses. This ensures that the method implementation remains unchanged. Here is an example. In this example, the show method in the parent class is declared as final, which prevents the child class from overriding it. Trying to override it in the child class will cause a compilation error. Moving on to final classes. A final class cannot be extended or subclassed. This is useful when you want to prevent inheritance for security or design reasons. Here's an example. In this example, the final class is declared as final, which means no other class can extend it. Any attempt to create a subclass of final class will result in a compilation error. To summarize, the final keyword in Java is used to restrict modifications. Final variables act as constants and cannot be reassigned. Final methods cannot be overridden, ensuring that the method implementation stays the same. Final classes cannot be subclassed, which prevents inheritance. Thank you for your attention. This concludes our presentation on the final keyword in Java. I hope you found it informative. Now, I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have about the final keyword. Subscribe to our channel to increase your knowledge with the knowledge base. Thank you.